Hey guys, Bruto here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for episode number four of our brand new career series. Just um, leaving Lockport from where we finished our last episode. We're going to head back out. I'm going to try another another new um, fishing hole, I think, this time. Alright, so it's still early in the morning. I think it's like 8am or something. I think what I'm going to do... I don't think we can actually zoom out anymore. We can. Not that much though. Um, there's another spot sort of southwest again, but a little bit higher up than where we were last time. There's actually a lot of boats sitting down there as well, so I want to go into their area and see see what we can find down there, see if it's actually worthwhile being in that spot as well. So just leaving the beautiful Lockport. Oh, it's a beautiful place, isn't it? these houses right on the waterfront like could you find a better place to live honestly I don't think so absolutely beautiful spot well look at this place look right all by itself right so we'll head out um, and then we'll look at um, our map and we'll fast travel alright let's give him a bit of a toot just in case they're not awake yet. Right, there we go. So I was planning on coming down in this area down in here, because look, there's there's boats all in here, so we might um, come in and rain on their parade, I guess. Come down like into here. See if we can find anything in this area. Right, let's stop here quickly. See what sort of boat that is. I think that is like another tuna boat it's hard to tell from so far away but I think they're those boats look like that are the tuna boats not so much these guys like that's a tuna boat I think alright so let's bring up our sonar let's have a bit of a look it's like a, they're the, like not guilty boats the lobster boats doesn't mean they're doing lobster obviously um, alright let's come out to here bring you over to prepare some gear now, which way do we want to head? Like, I think we'll head this way I'll try and split these guys I think there's definitely some tuna in this area but we're gonna try and throw out some swordfish lines to start with so I know the map isn't a hundred percent perfect but there's a couple of swordfish so we'll throw that out 6.6 kilometers so when we hit about 6.4 we'll throw out another one let's see if we see anything on the on the sonar so I'm still playing the same our versions we played last episode so there's been no update to the sonar as yet um, I am probably three of well this is episode four so I haven't even released episode one of our brand new career series yet so I'm a few episodes ahead um, if you guys are new to the channel you probably don't, won't realize that um, due to work family and you know study and all that sort of stuff I need to actually record a little bit in advance of where you guys actually are so I do apologise if you guys have commented and I haven't replied or said anything about a certain comment during these recordings. Just um, probably way ahead of where you guys are at the moment. I'm hoping there's going to be another big update out pretty soon. I don't know if this spot's going to be as good as our last spot. We're just going to have to play it by ear and see can't see a lot of boats. There are boats around here, but I can't see a lot of them. More over there. So I think they're all, um, they look like the not guilty sort of boat. So they're probably doing net fishing or long lining. So there's plenty of, um, swordfish here. So I will mark that spot, but it doesn't mean that it's actually, um, right. As I said, the current sonar isn't working 100%, so... 
can't completely trust it. Right, so we should have our last of our squid to go in. Go, we'll throw it in there. So a couple of swordfish. And the rest are going to be our herring. She should be just about finished doing that. But hopefully, be able to reel in some, some decent sized swordfish and also some decent sized tuna. Right, let's have a look what sort of boat. I think that's another not guilty style boat. Right, keep an eye out for some. Oh, for some tuna. Every now and then that sort of happens and it's a little bit weird. I don't know if it's, yeah, like a visual glitch or, I'm not sure. I know I've actually um, put out log lines and, and that sort of stuff off camera where I haven't been recording. Um, and I've actually ran, not over other people's long lines, but ran beside other people's long lines and potentially nets and that sort of stuff so that's sort of what that looked like it was like a big line of someone else's long lines or nets all right so we need to head back to the start of where we are so we might as well um, fast travel of course save a little bit of time all right and we'll shut down the boat bring up our map so we know where we are. We'll have a look and we'll sleep for or we'll rest for 17 hours. Have a look. Eight alerts. Beautiful. Let's bring out uh, Victor. And let's uh, hopefully reel in some good good swordfish here and some good tuna. That'll be nice. Hoping we're in a decent spot here, otherwise might have to go further south. I didn't actually look at any tips either when we were back in port, so we're kind of just flying blind at the moment, but looks like we've got two on, potentially, uh, I think just two. One tuna and a, oh, actually might be two swordfish. It's kind of hard to see with the reflections. Bring that big boy in. It's amazing how how the swordfish are so much bigger than the tuna, yet they don't weigh anywhere near as much. Like, if you have a look here, 337 kilos for one tuna, and that swordfish was only 86 kilos. I know they're a different frame. They're longer, and these guys are not as long, but they're really th wide and fat. Yeah, the swordfish just look, because they look so much bigger, they, you would think they'd be so much heavier. Alright, let's get on to our next deep line. So we could have two swordfish here. It's good to see, that's what we need. We need more swordfish on the boat. That was only a good. Only two though, so I don't think we're in the prime spot for swordfish at the moment. Couple of couple of small swordfish. This is why I'd like to be able to rebait while we're out at sea, so we can bait up eight lines, eight deep lines of uh, was it squid? I think for swordfish, throw them out. And then when we get them back in, we can rebait them and throw them back down again because we're not going to fill our boat with swordfish. But then again, I guess if we go to the right port the right price we should still make a decent amount of money out of them right just two again so definitely not an optimal spot for where the swordfish are see a couple hundred kilos on average 209 kilos each so that's not too bad we're only up to, you know, 1,200 kilos. 
We're already nearly halfway, well this is going to be pretty much halfway through our string. This next deep line, so not going to make a massive amount of money um, fishing swordfish, but if you have a look, like our tuna is way ahead of our swordfish, so we really need our swordfish to come back a little bit. So we probably should just bait solely for swordfish at the moment. If we catch a tuna, that's just a bonus. There we go, there's three swordfish on here. This might be where they are, a little bit a little bit further south. Oh, that's an okay and a good. Let's hope we get a perfect for the last one. I'm not sure if this does affect size. It's one thing I haven't asked the developers. I do know it does make a difference with um, 702 kilos. That's a lot better. It does make a difference with um, long line fishing. If you can get perfect, good and okay. Obviously, if you get perfect, then it does make make the fish a little bit bigger. Right, so what are we looking at? 1500 kilos of swordfish. Not bad, we might get a little bit of weight from our last two lines down here with some tuna on, so that would be handy. Alright, looks like yeah, a tuna and a swordfish on this one. good so that that tuna might help bump us up in weight oh well, not really actually surprising so this is our last deep line that was actually baited for um, swordfish So we'll see what's in this guy. So that wasn't a good spot where we just came from, but the spot before that wasn't too bad. Oh, uh, looks like there's only two on this line. A swordfish and a tuna. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'll look at the map, I'll move where that swordfish is. Uh, put one a bit above it, remove that one, and then I'm going to put one like over here, so maybe we can, I don't know, travel this way and see if it's any different on our next trip out. Might even go and see if we can get um, a tip for where the swordfish may be. Alright, so, what, really a thousand kilos of tuna, and we've only got three tuna on board compared to 10 swordfish, which is only 2,000 kilos. So if you had another 6 tuna, we'd be up, you know, up to nearly 4,000 kilos, or a little bit more. But as I said, it's the quotas, the quotas that I'm worried about. Definitely need to try and avoid the tuna and go the swordfish. It's not a bad line. Swordfish and a couple of tuna. Get that one reeled in and see how much weight. Just over a thousand kilos. That's still pretty good. We've still got four thousand kilos on board, so it's not a bad a bad catch at all. Alright, so we'll come up on this last deep line and we'll see see what's actually here. Last one. Reel this guy in. Is that just one? One tuna? Oh well, it's not going to make us rich, just one, but it's going to add to the rest of them. Right, 285 kilo tuna, not too bad. 4,300 kilos, so can't complain. 
Alright, let's um, turn around. So we'll um, head back. Back to port. A quick screenshot with our swordfish hanging off the back there. So where are we now? We need to head up into here to that next the next spot we haven't gone to yet. And just see what what sort of price we're actually gonna get. Let's have a look at the moment. Uh Yarmouth is nineteen eighty one. 17.10 for Lockport, 12.98 for Dennis Point. So definitely, I'm just going to call it Yarmouth because it's just easier for me to say Yarmouth. Yarmouth is the spot to go at the moment for Swordfish. We'll just head up here and see if um, we can get a better price up in here. Let's keep an eye on our boat just in case we come up on anything that we can actually unlock. Nearly unlocked everything in our last playthrough, but hardly unlocked anything through this one. Oh, there we go. Should be one of the um, lighthouses, I think. Or Kelp Rock. There we go. Right, go back in. How far away are we? We're still quite a ways away, aren't we? Let's travel to there. So Lunenberg discovered, so let's head... Oop, wrong button. Let's head in here and we can dock up and... See what we have on board. We're only uh, like 17 minutes or something into this recording, so we might be able to go back out and get a second run in today. Seeing as though we got through that pretty quick. Logbook, does that open the map? No, it doesn't, but we can go to the map. That's good. Um, does that actually give us a price now? Of Lunenburg? Oh. Tuna's great, but that's about it. Might go in here and sell our tuna and uh, go somewhere else to sell our, our swordfish, because that's a terrible price for swordfish. Certainly not worth coming in here for. I think we've only got, like, two... Three tuna, I think, but still, with it being th nearly thirty dollars a kilo, it's definitely gonna be better than selling the three for just twenty dollars a kilo. So we'll head straight in over here and unload, grab some more fuel and some more bait, and we'll head straight back out. It's another beautiful place. A lot of the factories and facilities over there. Another big boat just here. They're like the rescue boats, I think, aren't they? Just there. I think that's what that is. Or is that like a big net fishing boat? I don't know. Right, we'll sh shut all our power off. Probably too early, I think. Let's get a little bit further forward back to neutral shut it down dock at Lunenburg yes we're not going to sell our swordfish so 63,000 for 6 tuna yeah that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about alright let's purchase some more fuel actually let's go maintenance 4% yeah we'll, we'll fix that why not um, we'll go into the bar Mackerel, Silver Hake, Swordfish from a week ago. Don't really need any of those at the moment. Uh, we'll go fishing gear, bait deep lines, all for mackerel. This, all for mackerel. Uh, all for swordfish this time. Right, there we go. Victor's still on board, he's still happy. So we'll back out of here. Where are we going to go and take the rest of this stuff? Yarmouth, 19, 17. Lockport or Yarmouth? I don't know. Like Lockport, I think, is quite a bit closer. So we probably should just go there. and It's going to be you know, a couple of dollars a kilo less. But 
It's nowhere near as far to travel, so... Alright, let's head on out. Stay away from those docks there. Can we have a look and see the Vancouver? It's a nice big boat. Alright, um... So Lockport is where we're going to go, wasn't it? Let's, um... Throw in a few fast travel locations. Oop, I just... Stop, 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 stop. We had one and we missed it. There we go. Uh, I didn't even pick it up. Go here. Oop, still not picking it up. We have to get. We shouldn't have to get any closer than this. Uh, nope, it's still not unlocking it, which is weird. I think it's a lunar bow, isn't it? Oh, there we go. We've got to be. Why does that matter if you're inside or outside the boat? Now that's a weird, a weird thing, isn't it? Um, all right, let's come down into here. I don't think there's anything down in there we've missed. Hopefully the price isn't going to change too much with us sort of... scouting out in through here. Should be another thing we've unlocked. Oh, maybe not. We'll oh, come down here, there we go. Western Head. Right, straight down into here, into there, and then we'll head on into Lockport. Not that we can really see a great deal. Let's just, for this episode, we'll fast travel straight into there, just to save a little bit of extra time. Right, we'll have to dock, we'll sell our catch. Holy dooly. 80, 40,000. Ah, oh, it's not a lot of money, and it is there. Uh, purchase fuel again. Uh, let's go oop, into the bar. Tips. Mackerel, swordfish from three days ago. That'll help. Uh, we'll go back to the shipyard. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yeah, it only has the ocean runner in it. All right, where was the tune? See, swordfish from three days ago. I don't think... I don't know if that's deep enough, though. So, it looks like they might be travelling down this way. So, let's... I don't know, let's try it. Let's um, fast travel to there. Just because we're already... We're up to 25 minutes. The time goes so quick. We're only up to 17 minutes, like, five minutes ago. Um, Alright, let's go down here. Oops, it's not what I wanted to do. To put that back there, but that's an old one. And we'll head, so let's go here. And then we'll aim for down here somewhere. And we'll go, you come on out and prepare some gear. So we're not... Uh, 100, yeah, we're 100 metres depth. I don't know if it's deep enough, though. I don't think it is. Let's throw it down anyway, because this is where they're telling me that the, the fish are going, so... And I don't know if that means, like, a harpooning spot. Alright, so we'll get past this bit, because that might be... It doesn't even change. I don't know if it's shallower or not. We'll throw one in just there. Keep heading straight down and we'll, I guess we'll just throw them all out and um, see what happens. Hope we can get on some um, decent swordfish. From where they were to where they are now on the map here, definitely looks like they're starting to travel this way. Let's just hope they haven't deviated 
one way or the other. We can actually land on top of them. Alright, let's throw in number four. Kind of just waiting for this boy to get like the number to hit the edge of the screen here, then I'll throw down our next one. Not really working out exact distance or anything. Alright, there we go. It's a little bit of tuna there. I haven't seen a great deal of um, swordfish though. But they may not be exactly travelling this way. They might have, you know, gone a bit east of here maybe. There's a swordfish. This might be a bad haul, this one, but I guess we're just going to have to you know, travel around a bit and try and find um, some new spots. This definitely looks like there's some tuna on there. Oh, there's one there and there's a couple here, but I haven't seen a great deal of swordfish. may need to have a look like east and west instead of going straight down this way. Right, there we go. Come through to here and then we'll skip forward. Uh, actually, he's still standing on the back of the boat. That's probably not a good idea. You can go to rest. Wait for him to come in and Go below, thanks for your hard work. Go and have a cup of tea or whatever you want to do. Alright, looks like we're um got some bites, so let's go. All eight uh, are on. Let's have a look at our um searchlight. It's actually not a bad spot, the searchlight. Helps us see quite good. So fingers crossed, we're not going to be too shallow. Oh, oh wrong button. No, it doesn't say anything about being too shallow, that's good. So we've got a couple of swordfish on. So I'll be happy if we get at least two on each line, but obviously three is going to be more ideal than just the two. But that's where it's telling me that they've that they just were. So that's the old one, that's the new one, and that's our one. So let's hope that they're slowly travelling down this way somewhere. Time is at three o'clock in the morning. No rest for the wicked. Oh, so I've got another couple. As I said, I'll be happy with two. Two on each line. We're not going to fill the boat, but hopefully we can start to even out the quota a little bit. Or 38.5, so yeah, about 2 15 to 20 kilo average for the swordfish. Let's see, if we had six, we would have been at about you know 12, 13, 1400, which wouldn't have been too bad. It's just a matter of you know landing on top of them now and get that sweet spot. Let's come up with some uh, some other thing. Another message saying we're too shallow, maybe. Oh no, I don't know what that was then. Only one on that one. So maybe they're not travelling quite as quick to get down here. We'll see what the rest of these ones pull in. If there's not much on these ones, we know that we've got to go to where they're actually seen and sort of hang around that area there somewhere. Maybe put in like a little cross pattern or a little plus pattern or something like that. I wonder why it keeps beeping at us. 
Got a tuner which is going to help with a little bit of extra weight on the boat. Two tuna. Right, and the one, the one swordy, one swordfish. So that's four down. Actually, that must be really little swordfish or another little tuna. Yeah, well, the 434. So yeah, the swordfish was a little bit small, but so is the tuna. It's nearly 1,800 kilos, so we could walk away here with three and a half, four thousand kilos if we get some some decent lines here with three swordfish on each would be nice. So we've definitely got three on this one. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. That la yeah, that last one's a swordfish too. Because it's that dark, it's hard to see. Alright, get that last one in. Seven hundred and thirty nine, that's definitely a lot better. It's nearly, you know, two hundred and forty, two hundred and forty five kilo average. Alright, so three to go. Other three like that, and we'll be we'll be looking reasonably healthy. Another three on. It looks like this could be a few tuna, which is going to help bump up the weight, but we're still trying to target these swordfish. Still haven't fixed the sound animation with these guys yet, or the animation of the fish. I'm hoping they can um, have a look at that as well during one of the next updates. 9.11.4. Pretty good, 3,300, so we should definitely get over 4,000 kilos. Hopefully closer to 5 than 4. Alright, deep line number 7. See what sand has brought us. like just the two this time, just the swordfish and the tuna. I thought I completely missed it then, that was a terrible shot. 448, so yeah, not, not great weight, that was 3800 so definitely going to get over, hopefully we'll get over the 4000 kilos if we've got any fish on this one. So I wonder if Victor's skill actually makes a difference as well. Because his skill's so low, does that affect the weight? Like, I wouldn't think so, but I don't know. Right, just the two swordfish on this one, but that should still get us up above four. Probably not above four and a half, but... Yeah, 4, 3, 77, so not bad, but yeah, not great either. Alright, let's turn all these lights off. Let's bring him inside. Thanks for your work, Victor. Alright, and let's have a look at the prices again. 1954, 1162, 15, 13, so definitely Yarmouth is where we're going to head. It shouldn't be too far away. I'm pretty sure there's a spot here we need to unlock, isn't there? Oh god, wrong button. I'm sure that... yeah, there we go. Don't forget to change your view. Uh, yeah, we'll go straight up through here. Up it 
in towards Yarmouth. Hopefully we don't run into that super cat thing wherever it is. That crazy boat. These two fishing right on top of each other. Wonder if he's no, so he's not in in port at the moment. All right, so it's going to affect our quotas again, but hopefully it's going to bring our swordfish up a little bit. Um, what's that? Another three thousand. So we'll be at six thousand and what, six thousand and fifteen thousand. So we've still got to catch up. There we go, we'll roll on in, dock at Yarmouth, sell our fish. So that's not a bad price, it's not a great price, but still 88000 in our pocket, still pretty good. Um, purchase our fuel, we'll quickly grab our squid on all of our deep lines. We'll go to the bar, tips, mackerel, doesn't matter. Uh, let's have a look at our shipyard again. See, the Borg is one that I would like to look at, but I don't think it's going to be any good. Uh, the Lenore we can use for hooks, um, long line, nets and crabbing, like the lobster fishing as well, which we don't really want to do at the moment. The backstabber is just purely for harpoon and deep line. It does get us from 6 to 12,000 though, but how many... It doesn't say how many deep lines it actually has though deep lines we can use and obviously we've got the northwestern and the dexter so i think you guys let me know should we upgrade to the, the lenore um, and look at doing some other stuff at the moment some long lines or some net fishing or should we go to the backstabber and try and just get you know that extra size and that sort of stuff or should we stay with the little mickey and um just continue to Know, continue to grind it out so yeah you guys let me know if you enjoyed it as always smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been pretty thanks for watching see you again soon